I've been thinking a lot lately about something strange. Change. Now, I know that's an easy rhyme, and I know people say this all the time, but lately the gears of my mind have been tinkering undividedly around this subject of change. I believe that to bring change, you gotta be change. But first, you gotta see change. Somewhere out in the distant future, dial it up from long range and set free change. Let it rain. But I gotta be honest. It seems like every time we get near change, we steer clear of change. And the only excuse I can come up with is that we fear change. That's a bit queer. That's a bit strange. Isn't this precisely what the gospel message is about? about one man who came and suffered so that sin could be covered, death smothered, captives recovered, the truth discovered and change ushered in? Isn't this precisely what the church is meant to be? Not a prison, nor an open range, but a house for the estranged, where grace and mercy are exchanged and hearts are rearranged. Isn't this what we're supposed to be, church? An agent for change? A place where the broken are made whole, where change is the goal, and not just a change of clothes, but a change of your soul. So hold your roll. Keep your spare change. It costs far more than money to bring the exact change he spoke of. It costs your life. But in exchange for letting loose change, receive a life savings. So yeah, I've been thinking. But thinking about change is nothing more than an abstraction. Thoughts alone can be a distraction because they're only a fraction unless they begin to gain traction and start a chain reaction of changing action, a transaction where we begin to do the all important work of the grocery store clerk. Making change. <laughs>